Hey, welcome, welcome to the to White County Sunrise Central Red. Junior Varsity Finals game. This is White County Central versus Bryant. Thirty seconds until minions spawn. Get some early game action in the top jungle. A uh, level one fight. Riven is just ignoring the blue team. Minions have spawned. So blue team got Riven's flash there, so she won't have that for later in the game. And they blow another flash, almost getting the kill. Uh... Got bot lane hitting some early pike cooks. That is the enemy bot lane's heal. Top side of the map is setting up a dive and they get first blood two minutes into the game. Bala Hain gets another kill for the blue team. Pantheon losing the trade, but getting the ignite out of the matchup. It looks like another kill for the bot lane after Pike lands his combo. And then mid picks up the kill after burning Vex's ignite. Blue team is 4-0 with a solid 2.2k gold lead, three minutes into the game. That is another kill for bot lane. Ooh, Teemo is getting killed by the Riven in top lane. Giving a little bit of gold to the red side. But to trade the Pantheon and Yi, catch out the graves in mid lane. Lane burns Ble Vex's flash. She won't have that up for another six minutes. Pike's going for another hook. Oh, he misses, but gets, gets the minion. minion. He lands this one. Get the stun off on Karma. And Misfortune unleashes on her. Never falter. It's not quite a kill for bot lane, but karma is very low. Pike lands the stun on Caitlyn, and Misfortune Lock follows down. up. Gets the oh, almost gets the kill on Karma. <laughs> Pantheon engaging on the Vex. 
Oh, and he gets her. Riven. Riven just barely surviving the fight with the Teemo. Only three minutes later in the game, the blue team's gold lead has doubled to almost 4k. That is the Looks fresh like dragon. Looks like he dies to the dragon, but they get it anyways. Pantheon getting a nice straight off on the Vex. Pike lands yet another hook in the bot lane. <laughs> Looks like Teemo might be dead here, dead to the Riven. Oh. Riven's got another kill. So far, they're the only person with a kill in the team. Yi finishes off the Karma in the bot lane. Both top laners have hit level 6 now, they've a gained access to their ultimate abilities. Riven's getting poked away from the minions. Pike hit that, st that hook but missed his stun. Yeah. Riven's going in to fight. Uh, Graves just too far away to help her though. Uh, they catch the Riven and might get the Graves. Uh, it doesn't look like they do, but they do get Caitlyn in the bot lane. Looks like they get Karma as well. As she has to run away. She does not make it. side is pulling even farther ahead at nine minutes into the game they're another there's six thousand six hundred gold ahead now looks like graves is coming in for a gank on the teemo i don't think teemo's seen it yet Looks like Riven gets the follow up on the team, trading her jungler's life for the top laners. Steps on a trap, that might be bad news for him. Oh, Caitlyn just disengages off of it, doesn't want to die again. Focus. It's like he's looking. Pantheon ults in. Going in on the Caitlyn. Does not look like. Oh, he gets her. Oh, 
like dies to turret trying to kill the karma because that doesn't go to the other team so it's just an execute uh, mid lane catches I mean he catches a kill in the mid lane Pantheon eventually dives the karma in the bot lane getting a kill he dives to graves and Timo kills Riven top lane Despite the few kills they've dropped, the blue team is pulling even farther ahead. Another 2,000 gold, putting them at 8,000 gold ahead. Legendary. Pantheon invading their jungle kills their the enemy jungler. This looks like free Drake for the blue team if they decide to take it. Protocol initiated. Looks like he is taking Drake. Graves is walking up. I don't know if he knows he's there. It does not seem like he's seen him. Graves is heading behind the bot laner trying to get a kill. Pantheon catches out the Vex once again. Looks like Graves is gonna die for his mistakes. Pike blowing Karma's flash and heal to get out. Caitlyn's ulting the Yi doesn't quite have enough damage to finish him off though. Like Pike is going for the 1v2, he, he dips, he leaves. Timo and Pantheon are taking the Rift Herald right now. The Rift Herald gives you a f Omo, does a lot of damage to turrets. Might get them first turret in just a little bit. Looks like Pantheon's engaging on the Vex. She fears him and she walks away. Doesn't quite get the kill. Turret plating will fall soon. Oh, Vex tries to dive, but Pantheon kills her before she gets to kill him. Time is now. Looks like Graves is going for another gank on the Teemo. Looks like he might die to the Graves. Or not. Taking necessary actions. Pike interrupts the Kalen ulti, saving his ADC. Like first turret for mid lane, or no bot got first turret. They drop the rift herald in mid. It gets the first turret and it takes the majority of the second one. Blue team has almost double red team's gold right now. Only five minutes since they were just a, a little bit over six k ahead. X is just ignoring the Pantheon behind her. She dies. She just gets 
one shot by the Pantheon because she wasn't paying attention. Looks like there's three red teams in the mid lane. He's going in. Uh, they get the kill on Karma. They're going to try and get it on the Caitlyn and Graves as well. They do get the Caitlyn, but they don't get the Graves quite yet. Oh, and Misfortune gets the Graves. Looks like Teemo's pushing the top turret. They get the mid lane tier 2 turret. Timo is still just hammering away at that, and he gets it. Uh, Pike goes for the dive. Uh, he looks like he might die. He fail flashes over the wall. Kalen Olsen for the kill. Looks like Pantheon might die here as well, and he does. Uh, a little bit of a fumble from the blue side, but they're plenty ahead. They'll they'll recover. Karma almost dies to the misfortune. Oh, she does die. She walks up just a little bit too far. Graves gets the pick on Yi, trading for the Karma's life. Looks like Riven might die to the team of poison. Uh, she does not. She barely lives. Timo's kiting back, leading him into his ultis. Looks like blue team is on the dragon. There's not much red team can do about it. They don't have a turret mid lane anymore, so they kind of have to watch that. Uh, this is a Kimtech soul. Kimtech soul. Uh, if you have less health than your target, you'll do more damage to them with the Kimtech Dragon. And then at four dragons, Kimtech Soul brings your champion back to life for a little bit. Uh, Pike goes for the hook on the graves, just misses it barely. Uh, the Kimtech Dragon, whenever it is the Soul Dragon, it changes the map to where there's... Uh, giant invisibility areas all over the map. Pike was using those to hide and get an engage on the enemy team. They get four kills in the mid lane. Riven's the only one left alive. They might just take this up mid lane, get an inhib, maybe more. Looks like Riven is going mid lane to try and stop them. Teemo is taking their top tower though. Uh, Pantheon. Legendary. Is Fortune getting a kill with her ulti? Mid lane? That blue team destroyed Red's inhibit. Two of Red's inhibitors. Red team's inhibitor has been destroyed. Pike like lands the hook. Misfortune using her double up to kill both Caitlyn and Graves at the same time. Fortunately, Vex does get the Pantheon shut down. Kongzilla is on the misfortune today. So there are ADC. Never uh, fall. Looks like Blue is prepping for the Baron that will be up soon. <laughs> Uh, Baron is a buff that whenever you take it, the whole team gets a called the Hand of the Baron, and it buffs your minions. 
to do more damage to turrets, have more health and more armor and magic resist, which protects you from uh, physical damage and magic damage. Uh. Red team can't really do anything about it though. The, they have two waves of super minions coming into their base of every about 30 seconds. Uh, Teemo is back on the split push, split pushing bot lane while the rest of the team goes mid lane. Just getting some pressure on the map. Uh, looks like Pike might, Pike does die to Caitlyn. Getting caught out. Uh, but Pantheon gets the return kill. Looks like Pantheon, oh, Karma with a big shield, but... Misfortune gets him anyways. Uh, Misfortune tanking turret, but getting the karma. Oh, she is still tanking turret. Uh, she gets out though. It's close. Uh, Vex goes in trying to save the game, just not just too far behind at that point. And that is the end of the game. Enemy team is 20. 2,000 gold behind to end the game. 46 to 10. Really, Red Team's only chance of getting back in that game was to just try and outscale the blue team did have a pretty early game comp but if they just stalled that game out red team might have had a chance side this game uh, white county central is the red side we have mighty aegis on the mordekaiser uh, nugget 4123 has t has taken the has taken the hackjacks pantheon uh, looks like he's taking him jungle uh, rangatan toenails oh rangat I'm not quite sure how to say that name, but he's playing Heimerdinger in the middle lane. Logan Brox on Jinx as their AD carry. And then Yumi as their support. Team Marked Man. Um, on White County Central's team, we have Firewolf 4500 on the Warwick. Dark King Requiem on the Volley Bear in the jungle. Uh, the Hackjack on Annie in the middle lane. Zaner Zaxley. As Ash as the AD carry and Maverick 1106 on Morgana as our support. Uh, once again, uh, White County Central's team just has a lot more early game potential. Uh, Bryant can pull this all ahead if they really try and scale, but 
with how things looked last game, I they might not be able to. They might fall behind too fast. Game's about to start in about 30 seconds. Get to see how this one plays out. It's his best out of three, so if White County Central wins this, the series will be over and they will be the champions of the Junior Varsity uh, League. Otherwise, if Bryant pulls this game, then they'll play a third one and we'll see who wins. We've loaded in. The game is about to start. It's a new game. Last game does not matter on who wins this one. Welcome to Summoner's Rift. Both teams get an early ward in the pixel brush in the river, trying to prevent the invade from the other team. Warwick trying to fight the Mordekaiser early, getting just a little bit of damage off. Hoping that's enough to really sway the lane. Gets a little bit more damage off, Mordekaiser just walking back into the bush. Both junglers are starting bot side, so most likely their first ganks will be either in the mid lane or the top lane. Warwick blowing Mordekaiser's flash very early, making him back. He's gonna lose a lot of experience and gold from that. Morgana is looking for a root on the Jinx, trying to zone to keep her off the minions. Uh, Yumi is a quite the unique champion. She doesn't 
really function as her own champion, but she attaches to a different champion and heals them and buffs them just in general. Uh, Pantheon looks like he's going for the gank on Warwick. He looks a little bit unsure though. Uh, Mordekaiser engages. Pantheon does end up coming in. Uh, Warwick fears them both off of him. Uh, they might get him. He's very confused. It's like first blood for the blue team. So bonus 300 gold. Oh, it looks like Pantheon is getting caught out going for the Scuttle Crab. Uh, Scuttle Crab is a neutral jungle camp. It doesn't hurt anybody, but uh, when killed, it gives it gives health and mana to the person who kills it and leaves a vision, a little area of vision you can see in the river. Uh, bot lane blows Jinx's flash and heal. Volibear comes in getting another kill for the Annie on the Heimerdinger. Heimerdinger is a pretty safe laner, so most of the time he does not die early, but if you just get a really good gank off, he usually does. He gets to place his own little turrets. Uh, they, they're they only active when he's around, and they just kind of just kind of shoot things whenever they're, things, they're nearby. Uh, Mordkaiser missing his pull on the Warwick. Looks like there might be about to be some action between Volibear and Pantheon. No, looks like Volibear's just gonna back. Couldn't find the Pantheon to fight him. Uh, there is a fight going on in the top lane. Um, Warwick does win it. He might even get a kill here. Uh, Mordekaiser does have a lot of minions, so that would be the only chance of winning. But Warwick wins and gets to shove this lane in. Mordekaiser farther behind. Uh, Annie has a blue buff, which when a champion has blue buff, they get extra mana regen, which is used to cast spells, and ability haste, which makes your spells cooldowns lower. Looks like they're gonna. Looks like she gets the solo kill on Heimerdinger, despite Warwick about to be there. Uh, Hammerdinger just walked up a little bit too far outside of his turrets. Pantheon's going in for the gank bottom lane. He he lands the Q on Morgana, killing her, and then gets the stun off on Ash. Uh, Ash flashes out and is safe. Looks like Volibear wants to fight. Uh, Jinx getting knocked pretty low. Yumi heals her up a little bit. It, just to keep it safe. Um, looks like Warwick is trying to back after blowing his ulti but not getting a kill. Annie is roaming down to help with this Pantheon in the bot lane. Looks like they're gonna get him. He's all out of mana. He can't do anything. Annie lands the stun after Morgana roots. Uh, Annie gets to summon a giant bear. That doesn't really look like a bear there, but it's, she's got a skin on her. She summons a bear that beats people up for her. Uh, looks like they might get the Yumi down there, unless she gets to her teammates in time. Looks like she does. Pantheon might catch the Annie here. She's pretty low and stayed just a little bit too long. Looks like he might make it out. Uh, it does look like Red Team is going to go for the Dragon though. After forcing the enemy jungler to back. Hmm, it's smaller than the diagram. <laughs> Warwick comes down, gets the CC on Heimerdinger for Annie to pick up the kill. Uh, not, looks like this is another Kimtech dragon giving 
your team more damage on champions higher health than you. Uh, this is not the soul this game though, so there's no large invisibility. Pantheon is going for the Annie in the mid lane. Uh, he ends up just running away. It's Warwick too scary for him. Looks like Annie's gonna go for some turret platings, which are uh, before 14 minutes on the outer tier turrets. Uh, the turrets are segmented into five different parts, I believe, and breaking each of those parts gives you gold split to your nearby allies. Warwick looking for the fight with Mordekaiser, but Warwick is almost out of mana. This would be a good time for Mordekaiser to fight if he was ever going to. Warwick has a pretty useful ability that he can he can he gets a blood trail to uh, enemies that are below a half of their health, I think. Uh, and he moves faster towards them and gets more attack speed on them. But Warwick, if he's paying attention to his blood trail here, he can see the Pantheon in top side because he's below half health. Uh, Morgana misses the bind on you. Uh, Mordekaiser here is ulted, which brings them into, like, another realm where you can't see anybody. Like, they can't see in each other or get help from anybody else. Uh, it's just kind of like a forced 1v1 there. Looks like Warwick might win this if he just sticks it out. He does. He just wins. Uh, Morgana lands the root. Uh, they might get away anyways, though. Oh, no. Volley Bear's ulti disables towers uh, for a little bit, so it's, he's very good at diving under the tower with his teammates. Um, it's like bot lane going for some turret plating. Annie missing her ult on Pantheon, but Warwick goes in anyway. Looks like Pantheon, I mean, Annie is coming back up to assist with the 1v2. Uh, Warwick does get him. Tibbers is tanking tower for uh, Annie and Warwick to go and kill Mordekaiser. It looks like Warwick does catch him. Both our bot laners back here to buy items. Um, their bot lane should be free to push other than the the volley bear that's pretty nearby but don't think they see him quite yet oh uh, looks like Annie is gonna get the kill on the Heimerdinger, he just doesn't have that side of the wave rewarded. Um, she just comes from the shadows and one-shots him. A Pantheon does ult in, might get the kill on her? Nope, she flashes out, uh, Warwick's also there to fear and just kill the Pantheon for her. Uh, looks like Pantheon might get out. Catches though, he gets the Warwick kill as well. Warwick just got a little bit too bloodthirsty there, going for the, the kill. Should have just disengaged. Uh, Donna does miss the root, but. Uh, Morgana does die for missing that root. She gets ulted by Jinx. Jinx's ultimate is a giant rocket that can go all the way across the map, and the farther it goes, it does more damage. Uh, this game's a little closer, but blue, red team is still 6k gold ahead. Any roaming down, looks like she gets Jinx, and May and Yumi flashes away. She does not get Yumi as well. Pantheon's there as well. Uh, Volibear and Warwick are 
engaging on the Mordekaiser top lane. They might get Rift Herald after killing the top laner, knowing that the uh, jungler is bot lane. Uh, So like Wally Bear is backing instead of going for the rift. The the blue side is gamed objective bounties this game. Objective bounties uh, are granted to the team that is farther behind to give them kind of a catch up mechanic. Uh, it puts extra gold on killing turrets, dragons, rift heralds, and barons. Uh, red team gets the first turret. First turret awards extra gold to the entire team. Uh, Pantheon gets chunked after engaging on the Annie. He has to run away. Pantheon, I don't think Pantheon knows the Warwick is there. Maybe he just thinks they can 1v2 him. Which he, they might be able to, I'm not sure. Uh, looks like they can, and Warwick gets, Warwick gets caught out being a little bit too aggressive again. It's like, looks like Annie is going to try and fight bottom lane again. Uh, Ash is back at their turret, so this might not be the best idea. Holy Bear uh, did grab the drape while they're were fighting bot lane. And he does get Jinx, and Holly Bear picks up the Yumi kill. <laughs> and he's looking a little low. Um, does look like her and Volleybear are gonna try and kill the Heimerdinger anyways. Uh, but I think Annie just killed him. Oh, Warwick comes up and snatches the kill last minute. Uh, Botling grabs the first tier turret. Uh, Warwick has TP to the top lane to catch out this Mord guy who didn't know he was coming. Looks like he's gonna get him. Uh, he does, in fact. Pantheon ults down. Uh... Pantheon does not really get anything off of this. Uh, he just gets chunked and has to leave. He does get Warwick's flash. Um... Almost 17 minutes into the game and. Red side is about 9k gold ahead, so they're much stronger than blue side. I have the best in the spirit realm. Looks like Morgana does get out. Uh, maybe even killing. She does kill the Jinx in the 1v2. Her root gets blocked by a minion, so she doesn't get the Yumi. Ugh, this is my favorite chapter! Yumi does ulti, she misses Double most of it because of the Morgana root. Ugh. Warwick has come down. Uh, Morgana gets the kill anyways. Warwick getting the assist, I believe. Uh, uh, Redside has a Hextech trick this game, which gives extra attack speed, uh, which decreases the amount of time in between your auto attacks uh, and then ability haste which as we talked about earlier uh, reduces the amount of time in between your abilities the soul point this game is an infernal drake infernal drake uh, is very good for just raw damage it gives a percentage increase on your AP and your AD. Uh, and it's soul point um, gives you a little explosion whenever you hit somebody every like three seconds or so. Morgana lands the root on the Heimerdinger, chunking him. Uh, Annie getting out. 
almost dying though. Uh, looks like Warwick will get the ulti onto Jinx here. Catching her as well. Yumi leaves her. Just decides that Jinx is already dead and she hops onto the Mordekai. Uh, Yumi just leaves him as well. Or maybe he ulted. Yumi can't stay on whenever he's there and ulti. Only two people can be in there. Uh, looks like Warwick will try and get the Yumi under tower. He almost dies for it. Uh, he's gonna hop into their base. It's a bold move, but he, it works out in the end. Um, we're gonna just not tank the tower for it. Uh, Pantheon ults in to get the kill on the Annie. She just barely misses the Morgana. Uh, Warwick's pretty low, getting chased down by the Heimerdinger as well. Uh, Pantheon goes in on the Ash. He's a little bit unsuspecting. He's a rune that makes him run really fast when he activates it. Warwick going in on the Jinx, healing his entire health bar back. His, his ultimate heals him and makes the champion he's on not get the move or anything. Uh, Yumi's gonna heal up the Pantheon so they can fight soon. Warwick has started the Infernal Drake just as soon as he spawned while well, any team is all mid so they're not really paying much attention to him. His team is fighting. Uh, it might not be the best idea but it might work out in the end. It does end up working out. They do win the 3v4, 3v5. Jinx gets away but uh, looks they trade they get Drake. Uh, Red side gets Drake and looks like the next turret as well. Blue team's oh. turret has been destroyed. Jinx tries to interrupt Morgana's back. Morgana interrupts it herself to try and fight her. Uh, she just, Jinx just walks away, wasting Morgana's time. Uh, Annie's looking to steal the enemy jungler's blue buff. gap between the red and blue side is just getting bigger with the red team now 12k gold ahead. Looks like Warwick's getting caught out here. He flashes out and then he gets to knock the Pantheon over, saving his life. Uh, Annie came to help him. They might the they might the both be dead now. Uh, we're gonna try to block the CC with the black shield. Warwick just shreds the Pantheon. He's just dead almost instantly uh, Warwick and Mordekaiser are in Mordekaiser ulti uh, Warwick wins the fight anyways despite Mordekaiser getting stronger in there uh, we're gonna misses the bind uh, Jinx flashes away not wanting to die there uh, Bobby Bear ults the turret just so they can dive uh, they get the stun off on Heimerdinger. Heimerdinger dies. Uh, kill goes on to the Morgana. Morgana gets the Yumi kill as well. Uh, Red team does have a Rift Arrow in the bot lane. Take it. Taking their in hip turret there. Uh, Pantheon tries to go for the engage on the enemy team. Uh, he doesn't have much follow up. His team's not very strong right now. And so he just, he just dies. Jinx and Mordekaiser die along with him. They're, looks like they're gonna end the game here. And... I do believe, I can say for a fact, that White County Central is our Junior Varsity Champions this year. Uh, thanks for tuning in and watching the game.